Hello, welcome back to Tank Talks. Uh, we are here at SAS, Specialized Aquatics Solutions in Singapore. It is very hot today, so we're going to go in pretty quick. But we are here on a mission. I found a um, kind of like reference image of a bowl reef, or like a fish bowl, like a good old fish bowl. So I'm here to figure out if we can do the same because I've seen some giant fish bowls lying around. And I want to see how we can kind of make sure it's sustainable in the long run, um, like these guys do it online. Uh, we'll see what equipment we have in the shop to put it together and see what Hui Shan can recommend and we'll go from there and we'll s probably in another video show you and it will be set it up at home or when it's done. So come along, friend. Oh, aircon, aircon. Oh, yeah, eh. damn hot man today. Hey. Hello. I'm here. Remember that bowl tank I told you about? What bowl tank? Ah, oh, okay. I want to make this a reality. Okay. Because you have a giant fish balls, right? Yes, I do. I want to go bigger than this. Come, I'll show you. Let's figure out how to do it. Okay, come. Ha <laughs> ha, fish bowl. Yes, correct. This one? Yes, can we use it? Can. Yeah. This is the fish bowl? Yes. So, I want to have leopard wrestlers in this bowl. It's a very large bowl. Mm. Two feet. Two feet by one half feet, 100, about 30 gallons, okay? So, I want to put sand and mm. rock and min minimal livestock, okay? So what do you think I can fit? Because I don't think a filter will fit. Okay, visually, of course, we probably wouldn't want to keep with the filter because yeah. then you keep that nice look, right? Yep. So I think let's just go with a light and a wave maker and the work is on your side. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, let's look for the light. So this How is much? a light. 230. Okay, not bad. Okay, so wave makers. Uh, the lights. What do you think of this shape? Does it look good? Not the regular I think kind. the profile is better. Smaller. Okay, can. So... We'll take the 6020. I think Are there different enough. sizes? Yes, there's a bigger one, but I think this is good enough. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's 85. Okay, let's go. Sounds good. So there's some live rock here in the water. Carob sea, dry live rocks. Mm. Choose. Okay. And okay. then you can skip. Okay. Actually, the pieces here are quite a good size. There's some giant pieces. But... So you want the Hawaiian black or the Vimeric pink? Black. Black. Let's Thank go. Thank you. I'll give you the scissors. <gasps> I accidentally put the magnets together. They're not supposed to be together until they get in the tank. It's moving, it's moving. Very slowly, very gently. What did you do? The, the Tunzi magnet, I stuck oh, the... Oh no! Okay, are you happy the way it turned out? Yep. Uh, it's a little cloudy now and everything looks mega magnified, which is kind of cool. You see, imagine the fish would be pretty big. Mm. Um, uh, the light is cool, there are a lot of functions and settings. The reef readers have a pretty good reputation and it's affordable, which is good. Mm. Um, I think I might need another wave maker. I'm not quite sure I want it enough, but we'll okay. see. Um, Mostly it's for oxygen and push water around. Um, other than that, we're gonna bring it home, set it up. So stay tuned. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but you know, like, comment, and subscribe, we'll figure out what to do. 